So I was thinking about how Tarantino-esque the Deadpool movie is, and ended up realizing how similar it is to the Kill Bill duology. So I'm going to go through the reasons why the Deadpool movie is a lot like Kill Bill. Some of these similarities are pretty general, include subplots, and others are more specific. Firstly, the main protagonist of each film is a former mercenary who left the game to settle down and pursue a more normal life. They're also both well-trained killers, highly skilled in the art of swordsmanship, and are each presumed dead for a while, that is, until they come back to exact revenge on the guy who wronged them. That being said, both films are revenge stories, and also love stories too, although Kill Bill Volume 2 is the only Kill Bill that has one, and because of these love, love stories, our two avenging anti-heroes commit crimes of passion. Deadpool has to save Vanessa and Beatrix Kiddo to avenge her daughter, who she later finds out was actually alive the whole time. There are scenes of extreme violence and lots of blood in each film, although significantly less in Deadpool, which focuses more on profanity and sex joke, not that it's absent from Killage Bill. The main antagonists are sadistic bastards, it used to be associates of our protagonists in some way. The anti-hero has to go through certain stages before they finally face the primary villain. Both films use non-linear storytelling to start with the main character already on their revenge spree, but then goes back in time to explain to us what happened, how they got this way, and why they want revenge. The person dear to the hero is taken by the villain. H.I. kidnaps Vanessa, and Bill adopts Beatrice's daughter. Both protagonists talk to the audience at some point. Deadpool does this multiple times because fourth wall breaking is one of his signature features, but Beatrice Kiddo does this too in the, in the opening to the following too. I roared, and I rampaged, and I got bloody satisfaction. Both films talk about superheroes that aren't actually featured. In his first fourth wall breaking moment, Deadpool mentions Wolverine and other X-Men, and Bill mentions Batman, Spider-Man, and Superman during his monologue on superhero mythology. Violence in both films are used in a comedic way because it's usually quite over the top. Both main characters sport very comic booky outfits and... Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Those are the similarities between the Deadpool movie and Kill Bill that I found. I'm pretty sure there are more, but I know I got most of them. You can tell me what I what ones I missed in the comments. If you liked the video, then please like, rating, and subscribe for more movie discussions. Thanks for watching. Spidey out.